What if I told you that AI could save you hours of work and help you land more photography and video production clients? Stick around and I'll show you 10 chat GPT hacks guaranteed to grow your video production or photography business. This is Flash Film Academy, a YouTube channel dedicated to teaching you the business side of content creation. My name is Ty. I'm a former Army combat photographer and the founder of FlashFilmAcademy.com. I've helped thousands of content creators quit their job to go full time doing what they love to do. So if you want to learn how to take better pictures, this is not the place. If you want to learn how to translate the skills that you currently have into extra cash, hit that subscribe button and consider joining flashfilmacademy.com. Now, what I highly suggest is that you set up a GPT if you're a paid member, but if you're not, you can just enter this information in every time you need to ask it these questions or give it the prompts we're going to give it today. I myself has set up a GPT so that it knows and it has context to what I'm asking. So here's what I'm entering today. I am a Dallas based video production company that focuses on creating high quality content for dentists, orthodontists and hygienists. Our mission is to deliver impactful video solutions that drive real results. We specialize in producing training content for both internal staff and customers, as well as promotional videos, social media content and testimonials. Beyond just creating videos, we provide expert strategies tailored specifically to the dental industry, ensuring your content not only looks great, but is highly effective. That is the basis to which we're going to create what we're going to create today from that information. So I like to give ChatGPT that info, right? And it's gonna say, okay, memory updated, it got it. Let's start with number 10, content creation for social media and blogs. You should be using ChatGPT for this. ChatGPT can generate engaging content ideas, captions, blog posts, or educational articles that showcase your expertise. For example, you, you can ask ChatGPT about 10 ideas to create posts to bring in new clients. Let's do that. Give me 10 article ideas for my business. Let's go back and fix that. There we go. Now that it knows what my business is, it can generate these article ideas. Now I can tell ChatGPT to write an article based off one of these topics. And again, the purpose of these articles are to be SEO friendly to bring more traffic to our website. Number nine, we should be using ChatGPT to create copy for our website. Let me give you a quick example now that the GPT knows what type of business we are. I'm going to ask it for a hero statement. I mean, look at the first one it gave us. You can also ask it to write any sales copy or any copy that needs to live on your website. Number eight is we can use it to come up with free giveaway ideas to grow our email list. For this example, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to give me an example of eight free ebook giveaways that our ideal client may be interested in. Now, mind you, it's going to give me these ideas and I'm still going to use ChatGPT to write these ebooks. As you can see, it's given us great results. 10 proven video strategies to grow your dental practice. How to use patient testimonial videos to build trust and credibility. The ultimate guide to creating training videos for dental staff efficiency. These are really good targeted eBooks that only my ideal client will want to download for free, adding them to my email list, creating a warm lead for my business. Now that we have a warm lead, let's talk about number seven. Use it to write email sequences for my email list. For this, I'm going to ask ChatGPT to write me a three part email sequence for dentists who have downloaded my 10 proven video marketing strategies to grow your dental practice ebook. As you can see, it's writing me a three part email sequence. Now, I usually like to enter more information, but for time purposes, we're doing it real slim. But the goal of the email sequence, I like to add to the prompt. So let's say the goal is to have them book on our calendar or the goal is to bring us in to do a free consultation. I'll leave that up to you. But as you can see, it's provided me with great 
emails. And these are things you would normally pay a copywriter to do. The first one says, welcome and next steps. Welcome to the future of dental marketing. Hi, first name. Thank you for downloading our 10 proven video marketing strategies to grow your dental practice ebook. We hope you find it valuable and full of actionable insights to help your practice thrive. This is a very good email. That is a great way to start to grow your email campaign and bring in clients. Again, it's going to give me three different emails, as you see here, that it provides for me to add to my MailChimp or whatever email software I'm using that's automated. So as soon as you get put on this email list, now you're in the email sequence and the email sequence job is to turn you into a paying client. For number six, we wanna write a cold email for those we met at a networking event, explaining how my company can help them. For this, I'ma ask ChatGPT to write one cold email for those I met at the dental networking event explaining how my company can help them. Now, mind you, it's working off the little information I gave it to create this email. Hi, first name. It was a pleasure meeting you at event name this past week. I enjoyed learning more about your practice and I wanted to follow up with you with an opportunity that could help take your business to the next level. As you can see here, it's provided me with a detailed email on what we do and everything. So what I usually do is I set up an automatic email campaign and whoever email a name I add to it, it automatically send this out. This is why I like to collect emails at networking events. I like to get their business card so I can add them to this list and we can start to send out emails. I also may have it write me a follow up email that I'll send out weeks later just in case I haven't heard back from the people. Number five thing I like to use it to do is to take a summary of my Zoom calls and write a follow-up email. If you use Zoom, Zoom will use AI to summarize your meeting. I like to take that information, give it to ChatGPT, and tell it to write me a follow-up email based off that summarization. Number four is I like to use the summary to also create proposals for the project. Take a summary of a Zoom call you had with a client and use it in your proposal for the project. Number three, I ask ChatGPT to give me script ideas based off the summary of the information that we received on the Zoom call. Keep that information in hand. Usually you have to write a lot of notes during a Zoom call and go back and apply it to what you're creating for the client. But with Zoom and ChatGPT, you don't have to do that. Next up is client follow-up emails. I like to have ChatGPT use the information again from that Zoom call and the information about my brand to write a follow-up email utilizing the information that we talked about in the meeting, personalizing it for that client. Now this last tip is gonna blow a lot of people away, but I'm going to use ChatGPT to give me an idea of what my website should look like. Give me some design ideas. So let's ask ChatGPT to generate an image of a website from my company. Now it's going to give me an image based off the description I've provided and my ideal client and what we do. This always blows people away. Okay, boom, bam. That's a pretty dope website. That's a dope website idea. And you can take this information to a graphic designer and let them fully design your website. It's not gonna design it for you, but it gives you ideas as to how your website should look for content creators. As a bonus, I got two more. One, we can ask it for company names. It gives me some great names. Dental Vision Studios, Smile Sight Media. I mean, that's dope. It's dope ideas. Now you can ask it, let's say I pick one of them. Let's say we go with Dental Vision Studio. Generate a logo idea for a company called Dental Vision Studios. Let's just see what it come up with. Look at that. It knows that we're a video production company. It put a lens right in the middle of a tooth. It's pretty dope. But you should be using ChatGPT to grow your business, to get ideas for your logos, to get ideas for your website. Look at the branding and color scheme it gave us based off that industry. You should be using ChatGPT for all kinds of things throughout your business. Now, if you are a Flash Film Academy member, the follow-up video to this 
is going to go into details on the top five AI tools I use in general. That's outside of ChatGPT because there are some great AI tools that I use to grow and run my business daily. They are must have AI tools. Anyway, if you like this video and learn something from it, hit the subscribe button. If you're the type of content creator that's always getting caught in the exposure trap, I got a video for you coming up next. As always, be inspired, be creative, be profitable.